Hey everyone, I'm trying to invite here Dr. Sai from Ageless MD. Hey YouTube, before we jump into the video, make sure you check out my Patreon account. It's designed for serious medical aesthetics providers just like you. Hey! So I'm going to introduce you. This is Dr. TJ Sai from Ageless MD. He's from California. He's got a super successful practice. And he's been using Silver Max for a while now. And honestly, I went in and I did a ton of research. And one of the machines that I didn't hear about at the time, but I started hearing waves and new technology was this Silver X. And I saw that uh, Dr. Sai was using this machine. And we were both presenters for uh, International United Congress. And this is how I know Dr. Sai. And we've presented twice there. I respect him and I look up to him and uh, as a colleague and at the same time I, I reached out to him and he helped me out a lot with making a decision and this is what we're chatting about today. We're talking about Silver Max and welcome man. Thank you for having us. Thanks. I'm glad to finally get on board and I'm going to need your help with all those dancing TikTok videos. So, <laughs> <laughs> so full disclosure, I did use a, a device previously before Silver It was called Secret. It's funny because I bought it from a Korean company before it was sold to Kutera. And I, and I got good use of it. And I felt like I did pretty good with it. I even got further training. I, I hired more trainers to teach my team. And I really feel like I got like the most out of it. And I got to where I was kind of peaked out. And I actually had heard about Silfirm like over two years ago. But my mentality at the time is like, well, I don't want to be redundant. Just like with your, with your wardrobe, you know, you've got two gray shirts that are long sleeve and button down. I mean, you want a third one or a fourth one. So it was like, you know, like I've got that technology, but I never really appreciated it until um, I met Dr. Na. And, and I saw that it was technology, yes, but there's also technique involved. And I'm a thread person. That's my forte is doing a lot of thread listen. So when I saw the technology combined with, it's called vectoring, so with the RF microneedling, you, you, with the Silfron, we take it and we vector it. And, and, I, and I'm a physics and science guy, and, and with the threads, I vector all the time. And I was like, wow, I never thought to do that. I never thought to take the, the patterns of the RF microneedling and vector them just like exactly how I do my thread vectoring. So vectoring, and, you mean like you're lifting the skin as you're doing it? Like, for example, you want to lift the nasal labial fold this direction. So, you know, you're taking the device and you're, you're torquing it. You're putting on the skin and you pull it up and you make you lay down the energy. You pull the skin up, you lay down the energy. So you're effectively, you're cementing the layer two and three together. You're kind of bringing them and connecting them. And this, by the way, huh, I'm getting older, but you can see this concept right here is a disconnect. When I, when I consult my patients, I say, well, my cheeks don't move when I do this. But when I do this, my whole skin comes off. This is a, a disconnect. And so if we can get that reconnected to the tissue, that, that just does wonders. But anyway, I saw the techniques, I saw the technology, and then because the Silfirm has the pulse wave in addition, and it can also treat melasma and vascularity and rosacea, I was like, okay, this is, this is very interesting now. Let's dive right into it. So let's separate what makes a difference between Silfirm and what is it that makes this device so special for you? Well, first of all, with the previous device I had a secret, it was insulated. And the, the idea was like, oh, you have to go insulated because you're gonna burn the epidermis, but that's actually not true. So like the whole needle tip is mostly insulated except for the tip, which means yeah. you only have like a fraction of a millimeter to deliver all that energy which guess what, you've got to really crank it up and you really have to deploy that energy in a really small area to be as effective. Whereas an uninsulated needle and the way that the Silfirm works, you know, that energy has been delivered through the entire needle length. It is tapered, so the tip of it gets more energy and then gradually coagulates upward, but still you are uh, more efficiently delivering energy. It's not a heavy hitter and it actually causes less downtime and it's actually very less painful. How is it possible that this machine, if it's designed to be safer for darker skin types, where it's going to decrease the chances of having like post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which is like those little dark specks that people get if they have darker pigments. How is it possible that this needle, because it's not insulated, is going to protect the skin versus another type of device that has an insulated type? And why isn't that device not as safe for darker skin? So I'm gonna use this pen example and this is the actual needle 
well, one single needle going into penetrating the skin. And a, typically an insulated needle would have the insulation from here to here and this part uninsulated. Well, the still from needle, the entire needle is uninsulated, but the way the energy has been delivered, it starts off at the tip and it works its way up. So as the time progresses, it starts here and it works its way up. And by the time the needle exits the skin, it's already dissipated. So it's a very clean and efficient energy delivering system. And because you've got the entire needle link that's delivering the energy, you don't have to do multiple, multiple, multiple passes. For example, with a secret, I would have to go 2.5 and then layer another pass 1.5 and then go layer another pass at 0.5. Whereas with the Silform, I can get to 2.5 to 1.5 to the 0.5 all with one pass without having to go a second and a third time. So you see that example, just that one example alone, you can see how the energy is being delivered really efficiently. The other thing too is that the one megahertz versus the two megahertz. A lot of people are like, what is that? Basically two megahertz is like double the efficiency of power that's coming through the needle and it's coming at the very tip where most devices now are using one megahertz which is actually more painful they have to keep it there for a little longer where this one because it's two megahertz and you're getting really most of the power at the tip it's not in there very long which makes it less painful more concentration of power and you're right it like basically kind of has like a teardrop effect where most of the power is at the base it dissipates at the top and by the time that the zap's already done it's not painless but it's definitely not as painful as the other machines in my opinion and you're getting more out of each zap so for you asian background like have you tested on yourself do you have a lot of asian clients or clients that have darker pigments which are kind of like tricky to treat and have you had good results any any things that you recommend any patch testing or anything like that yes you do have to treat the settings do have to be a little bit different with uh, darker skin types. You're not gonna go the same setting for skin type two as a skin type five like myself. So it is a little bit different. And, and even when we did the first demo, when I first was really considering buying the machine and we ran demos, one of the first patients we did was a skin type five. And the, the results with her alone, the befores and after was so incredible that we were able to, because of that one before and after photo, we did such incredible sales with that before and after photo that we were able to pay the machine off in three months which is like i've never done that in, in my practice before whatever technology i'm bringing on my goal is to pay it off in six months but to do it in half that time i was blown away for you how many sessions is average do you feel you get great amount of treatments like two three four what do you recommend and do you think that some need more and for what type of treatments I would say definitely someone that has like acne scarring, ice pick scars, I definitely recommend going up to like four to six sessions. And then um, we also do combination treatments too with the subsidian, with TCA cross, et cetera, et cetera, or even possibly CO2. But what I like about this machine is it's so versatile that, that any demographic can really benefit. A 30 year old that is coming to see me for facial slimming because they have extra adipose tissue on their lower face, they can benefit. A 40-year-old that's starting to see some skin laxity, they can benefit. A 68-year-old that doesn't want to undergo a facelift, they can benefit. All across the board, every age group, every demographic, and all skin types. So this technology can capture so many patients, and I think it's very versatile, uh, whatever practice that you own. Cool. Let's talk a little bit about like the difference between the two wavelengths. So we have a continuous wavelength, and then there's a pulse wavelength. And I think that's also another unique feature about this machine. So I want to know what your, your thoughts about, A, can we explain a little bit between the two pulses, and at the same time, how it can help with pigmented lesions? Okay, so for those who don't know, Scarlet was kind of like the first generation of the Silfirm. So Scarlet was just basically Silfirm with the continuous wave. There was no pulse wave with the Scarlet. So that's why Dr. Nas' new baby is the Silfirm X, because it's basically Scarlet plus it's got the pulse wave. So there's different pulse waves where the, the energy has been divided into pulses. And, and the whole theory behind that is that you can actually really attack that basement membrane. So you get a a very selective energy delivery system targeting that 0.3 microns or 300 microns of uh, basement yeah. membrane yeah. and go after 
vascular, go after the vascular component of melasma, go after rosacea, for example, melasma, we do like to combine it with other treatments. And we have other ingredients that we use with a post care that will help with the pigmentation as well. So it's not, we don't claim this to be the best uh, overall treatment for melasma that's out there. If this is all you have for melasma, it definitely works. I mean, if this is your only treatment plan for melasma, it definitely works. But if you can combine it, say with a Q switch combined with a Silfermex, that would be even better. I think we're good, honestly. This answers a lot of questions for, I think, the general public of, you know, what Silfermex is. And I appreciate you being here with me, my man. Great, great. Thanks for having me. All okay. right, boss. We'll Take see you care. another day. Yeah. Again, okay. Thanks, everyone. Right. Thanks for joining. Take care.